सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर पीडिया एजुकेशन सो दिस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दो स्टूडेंट हु आर विलिंग टू राइट द कमिंग ग्रुप ए गैजेटेड ऑफिसर पोजिशन एग्जामिनर ऑफ पेटेंट्स एंड डिजाइन सो यस्टरडे और डे बिफोर यस्टरडे वी शेयर वन डिटेल वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द एडवर्टाइजमेंट and there is a huge number of vacancies for engineering graduate be it from the electronics computer science mechanical etc so they are going to conduct exam in two stages the very first is the preliminary stage second is the main stage your background or your technical engineering question they will be not asking in the preliminary state they will be asking them only in the mains stage and that too in the paper 2 which will be descriptive paper so i will discuss in this video how you need to prepare what will be the marking scheme and basically how many section and question will be there in the descriptive paper and what all questions is it theoretical question is it a derivation based question or is it a numerical kind of question what kind of question you can expect and some small tips and trick to write the conventional paper so as you can see i have got my one previous year paper that is for electronics and communication duration is 3 hour and total marks is 300 so they have clearly mentioned all questions are compulsory and there are four section question paper may be divided into four section section a to d and carry marks as mentioned see this is as per the last time this exam was conducted what was the then conventional or descriptive paper structure for the technical that we are taking as a reference the very first section they have told there will be total three question and each question will be having two part a and b and each question carries 12 marks so 12 into 3 36 marks you will get in the one section and section b total three question will be there and again there will be two part and each question will carry 20 marks so again three question 20 marks individual total 60 marks there is section d so the section c total three question will be there again the structure is same two part it will be having and each question carries 28 marks so 28 into 3 84 marks and there is last section section d total three question having two part as identical as like a b c and each question is carrying 40 marks so 3 into 40 120 if you sum up 120 84 60 36 it turns around to be 300 marks so guys this is the structure of your conventional paper as per the pattern which they conducted last year or last time in 2018 i guess this was the last paper they conducted mains paper now see whenever you are going to write the conventional question the very first important point is you need to practice how to write the descriptive solution step by step that too in the clear handwriting because if whatever things you are writing that is not clearly visible you are writing it in very bad way no proper structure then definitely you will be you know cost with some deduction of marks there is no negative marking but they can deduct your marks if you are not writing the things very clearly and step by step yes if you are getting the final answer correctly the total marks will be awarded as discussed here in the section so the very first point is the syllabus is as that of the esc engineering service exam syllabus and if you people already have prepared or are in the continuous preparation for the esc then this process is going to be quite easier and comfortable for all those graduate so two point practice 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 a lot of how to write the answer and descriptive answer see when we are solving the multiple choice question then we skip a lot of step we already know but we don't want to do them and waste our time because we have a lot of question to solve in lesser time but when you are writing the descriptive paper you have very good you can see here 3 hours 3 hours is not very less time okay it's a very you know ample amount of time you can solve easily you can attempt these all question easily the questions are not that much big but you need to write step by step if you want to compete with your competitor in descriptive your chances of getting good marks is not only dependent upon how much knowledge you have it depend also upon in what way what is your presentation in what way you are writing or presenting your answer what all step you have involved if there is some assumption in any of the derivation or in any of the question are you mentioning them properly or not if there is some you know 
characteristics associated with the question any constructional diagram associated with the question are you putting it there correctly or not so guys these are the point you need to keep in mind and neat and clean handwriting there is no negative marking but if you are not writing in good way they can deduct the marks now coming to question i will tell you few tricks see this is the question from the digital electronics again this question is again from the digital electronics very simple question they are not complex question i believe within four to five minutes you must be in the position to write the answer for a part of one question or b part of one question if you have done a good amount of practice so that practice only you need to do if you have some basic reference knowledge if you don't have a basic reference knowledge you are not in the touch of engineering part since last two to three years if you even start preparing by today then also you will be in the position to execute and to attempt the conventional paper or descriptive paper in much better way you can see there are questions also from this is question from basically you know a to d converter again so you have question from signal system z transform again network theory very fundamental question they are simply asking the z transform for the sinusoidal signal if you have prepared for gate you have prepared for any competitive exam or even during your subject of bachelor these are the very basic question and you might remember their formula but you don't need to write the formula only you need to make the entire derivation you must know what is the expression for the z transform x of z is equal to summation n minus infinite infinite x of n z minus n then substitute this value and break down how you can break down it right there are so many ways of doing this next question you can see this is directly from the network question similarly again the network question again the operational amplifier question very basic question see using miller theorem show that the input resistance r in is equal to minus r that is very very common or very basic question right you just need to find the voltage current ratio then they are asking next control system question this question is directly taken from the reference book or textbook so guys there are so many questions which are directly taken from the solved example of reference or textbook this question is directly taken from the reference book and if i talk you about this question this question is also directly taken from the reference book of the microelectronics again very simple question they have asked you for the circuit shown below calculate the output voltage if v1 is 1 volt this one is provided 1 volt and this output voltage is being asked and the given operational amplifier is idle put the virtual ground condition and simply find this voltage this voltage further one you can see what configuration is you can calculate the output easily so i believe this question will not take more than four to five minutes and this is entirely one separate section right then coming down again this question is directly from the microelectronics sadra and smith textbook question again coming down see this question is again from the sadra and smith text question microelectronics so guys there are so many questions which are straight away taken from the textbook so guys the question level is not that much difficult the question level is very basic as i told you you can see this is the again network question so now the wise suggestion for you people is as i told you there are many questions which are being taken straight away from the textbook so first of all you need to collect the good standard textbook for each subject which we will be doing as a mentor at the europedia education we will be providing you set of some question which you need to practice for the conventional or descriptive paper which we believe as a mentor they have the very good chances of getting asked in the exam as per the previous year pattern see in any conventional paper you are writing for esc you are writing for this you are writing for any other exam the always best resource is to collect some good amount of question the solved example of the standard reference book of each subject don't follow the local author book you will waste your time and then practice those 80 to 100 question per subject you will be in the position to answer to write step by step with great accuracy in the final exam and you will not be surprised there will be 40 to 50 percent question which are straight away from those set which you already have prepared from those solved example of the standard reference book so you can see there are very lesser question which are derivation based there are very lesser question which are asked in the way what is basically poison equation what is law of mass action okay draw the fermi energy diagram of the n type p type semiconductor these kind of question are rarely asked they have mostly focused on the numerical part even if they ask the concept they have asked the concept with the demonstration they have given one example and they are asking you to implement that concept to solve that particular example see this question is the operational amplifier in the circuit shown below is idle compute 
So basically they are asking the Thevenin resistance open circuit voltage between node A and B. So they have combined the network and analog electronics only the analog electronics operational amplifier part. So if you know how to apply KVL, KCL, Thevenin and you know what are the basic property of operational amplifier you are in the best position you can solve these kind of numerical. So concluding point there are very less or negligible theoretical question most of the question are numerical you need to solve the only difference is for objective you simply solve the numerical by skipping the lot of step because your focus is to get the final answer the same thing you need to do for the convention you need to solve the numerical but you need to solve the numerical including each and every step you need to practice that art. If you will not practice, you will not be able to perform well in the descriptive paper even by knowing the concept and answer. So the only art is practice, 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 writing the step by step solution for the each numerical whatever you are solving. So this is the brief review of the conventional paper. Your PD education wish you all the best. We are launching our dedicated module for this examiner of patents and designs which is a group a gazetted position from day after tomorrow. Don't miss to join your preparation with us. We will be guiding you people in very less time how to prepare effectively and from what resources as I discussed just now, what is the best resource to prepare the descriptive paper of the men's exam. Thanks a lot.